Well, good morning. Today I'm going to open up this, uh, the colloquial name for it is the Stinky Slinky Box. So I'm going to open that up and then I'm going to see what I need and then I'm going to go install it on the camper. This is how it came packaged to me. Um, there's stuff that's loose in there. I hear it rolling around. So I'm going to open it up and uh, see what I need to install it. Well, I feel much better after I got it out of the shipping box. I got my Valterra adjustable easy hose carrier. As, or as I said before, the uh, stinky slinky container. Uh, and a quarter twist track. So anyways, here's what it says. Easily adjustable, that's the best mounting location and the hose size. Mounting brackets and screws included for easy installation. And a padlock for extra security. I don't know who's gonna steal a hose for draining your tank, but oh well. <laughs> Let me uh, open this up and we'll take a look and that way I know what I need to take to go install it. All right, so cut the tape. Now I'm gonna open this puppy. See, oh, I didn't cut it at all, just a second. Well, I took it out of there and I think that's the bag that's supposed to hold all the uh, screws. So that's where I'm at. I'm gonna go grab me uh, a nut driver and we'll go from there. Well, with the uh, sewer line storage, I was gonna attach it to the rear bumper, but lo and behold, I don't have a rear bumper. So I'm gonna have to improvise and adapt because I have the, uh, winterized or uh cold weather so everything under here is covered with insulation so i can't really see where the cross members are and i don't want to um i don't want to puncture anything that i can't see so i think we're gonna have to improvise so let me get everything out see what i got and then we'll go from there all right, since this is long, I'm going to have to do this one-handed. I hate doing it, but I'm going to get it out of the box. This is an extra clip if you extend it for a real long length. I did read that in these wadded-up instructions. You can hear the screws bouncing around in there. So basically, all this is is a giant PVC pipe with some brackets on both ends and it looks like it's I don't have my tape measure with me but that looks like it's about six inches wide so let me contemplate what I'm gonna do but I think I have an idea and it involves one of my favorite pieces of equipment which is called a zip tie. So let me go see how this fits up underneath and then we'll go from there. What I just determined is that it slides in and out. So you got a whole range of motion. Um, I got some cheaper zip ties, thin ones, but I'll go buy some heavy duty ones. But uh, I'm gonna get it mounted up today with the uh, less expensive ones. And then I'll go buy me some of the good ones at my favorite favorite store as you can see i got a trailer hitch no bumper and the trailer hitch is pretty dang sturdy so what i think i'm gonna do is i brought some of my zip ties i'm gonna run it um i'm gonna run this on the bottom and then zip tie around the hitch because it's it's only this wide and my screws are that far away so um i think that's what i'm gonna have to do i'm not gonna leave it hanging like this i just wanted to get it sort of adjust it to the right spot now i'm gonna go do that side and then i'll tighten it up but uh like i said i'm gonna get some uh much more sturdy zip ties to install this permanently all right so there you go i got it installed like i said i'm gonna get a couple more uh pretty sturdy zip ties wrapping the center and on the ends 
um, but I wanted to get it in place prior to doing that. Um, so there you go. Hopefully this helps you uh, decide to get this. I mean, I couldn't mount it to the frame. I've seen people do that. I just like it having it back here. And uh, so anyways, there you go. Hopefully this helps you make your decision. All right, so I came back. Here are the tie straps I'm using. I'm gonna use four of them. I got three of them on here. I'm gonna put one more down there. Then I'll get rid of those little black ones. But like I said, I use those to hold it up. And uh, so I think we're good to go. If this goes anywhere, I'll be very upset. All right, everybody. Hopefully you like my uh, home engineered uh, installation of my um, sewer hose uh, holder. So, um, you know, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. And I think that'll work out great. And I won't have the uh, stinky slinky up underneath my, uh, in my basement of my trailer. So there you go. I appreciate everybody. Um, and I also wanted to thank everybody again for getting me to 5,000 subscribers. I greatly appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. Um, and if this video helped you out any at all please give it a like give it a share give it a thumbs up and uh if you'd like to buy one i'll put a link below and that'll really help me out too if uh, you purchase something through my amazon store or amazon link since i am an amazon associate it uh it helps me continue to do little uh little uh projects and the big project of the mustang so once again thank you everybody have a great day and adios